And Canada geese are some of the most commonly seen birds in our area, but several communities are trying to figure out what to do about them. Now, the decision by Mishawaka to kill 400 of them caused a huge uproar, and now South Bend is trying to figure out how it would deal with them and other wildlife. WSBT 22's Patrick Roth is at the live desk for us, and Patrick, the Common Council just passed a resolution tonight. Yeah, Rick, council members are asking the Parks Department to take a look at this and try to figure out not only what to do about geese, but what impact wildlife and urban environment have on each other. South Bend has long worked to become an example of what a city looks like in the 21st century. Now, the Common Council is asking a question that humanity has dealt with for centuries. What role does nature, and more specifically wildlife, play in a 21st century American city? Well, and the Department of Natural Resources encourages us as local communities, states, governments, to all look out for our animals to make plans because they are a part of our community and we all live here in the same environment. I think that they're wild animals and we should be able to live with them. If we're here, it's their, that's their home at the park. We're just there to visit and have a picnic. Much of the talk recently is centered on geese. But the Parks Department will be looking at how all wildlife interacts with people in the city. And the question is, does wildlife interfere with the urban environment, or is it the other way around? These are all human-created problems. I mean, ecologically, these animals are well capable of, of adjusting their own populations. But when humans get into the picture, we're kind of throwing a wrench into the works. While there are different opinions about when nature interferes with man and vice versa, for now, the council wants to try and figure out a plan so if and when there is a problem with overpopulation, they won't have to react. They can look at it, study it, and make recommendations, not only on geese, but how we handle all of our wildlife in South Bend so that we can live together with our wildlife and also balance out our nature and things together. Now that committee will be looking at things like having more signage up, reminding people not to feed the wildlife. Now you might remember last summer when there was that black bear roaming around here, people were feeding him. And that's ultimately what led to his demise. Now, as of right now, though, the Parks Department says they don't have any plans for using lethal force in dealing with wildlife in South Bend. At the Live Desk, Patrick Roth, WSBT 22 News.